Hi guys, sorry about that. Um, there was an important phone call that came through that we've been waiting for all day. So I had to take a break, so I apologize for that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and finish where we started. I, um, I finished um, painting the, um, the board here with the, um, the bark color. So now I'm just going to do the gather and gobble. So, yeah, sorry, just like I said, it's one of those days where it's just kind of been crazy trying to get everything done and it seems like, you know how those days where you feel like you're just spinning your wheels and you're not going anywhere fast? <laughs> so that's how it kind of feels today, but you know, could be worse, right? So anyway, um, all right, so, oops, a little bubble in there. So just lift it up and pull it through. Now I do see some little bubbles in here, um, but they are in like little spots here that um, don't really matter. So I think what I'm gonna do is, um, originally I wanted to do the shimmer copper, but I think the shimmer copper and this are just too close together. So I'm thinking about doing yellow and I think that's too light as well. Gather and gobble, maybe an orange. Hmm. Maybe the shimmer olive. We'll do a shimmer olive and yellow. How's that sound? We'll do um, a shimmer olive in the gather and gobble in Bumblebee, how's that sound? All right, so let's get this going here. Just gonna kinda put this on here real thick. Again, with the, the way that the shimmer is, I know I keep saying that, but it is kind of important just to remember that, it's just so you don't you know, get frustrated with it. So I try to help you guys out here a little bit. Um, or you'll put do something, you'll be like, oh, my shimmer didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So just so kind of planting that seed in your head so that way um, when you go to do it, you'll be like, oh yeah, gotta, you know, it's gonna take longer to dry and it's gonna, don't wipe it off, don't, squeegee off as much as we would with the normal paste, you know? So, all right, so let me just come this away, pull all that extra off. There we go, make sure I got that real good. Sometimes I like to go over it twice with the um, the shimmer just so I can make sure that I got it all on there correctly. Because I'm a shimmer girl. I love that shimmer. It's so pretty. All right, so let's do the bumblebee. off that extra. There we go. Okay. Oh, there goes that paint again. Oh, I always get it on me. So let's pull this off.
Oops, actually, I see something that I need to grab real quick. So let me see if I can, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I know I'm gonna mess it up and I don't wanna redo it. So let me dry this real quick. Here we go, that looks better. All right, so let's put this over here. That turned out really cute. Oops. Yeah, and go. I'll turn my my um, light on so you can kind of see that shimmer in there. I think that's really pretty. Gather and gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is just kind of want to give this some color on the sides. So it matches everything else. There we go. That's perfect. All right, we're gonna put this over here so these can dry. And then we got one more, guys. Okay, so this one will be super fast. Let me get rid of the shimmer olive here. So we're gonna do Hello Pumpkin. And I'm thinking um, that we will use the, um, the copper. We haven't used that one yet. I think that's a really pretty um, fall color. And we'll just kind of do the whole thing in this color. Hello Pumpkin, all the same color. So I think that it's super pretty. pretty that is. I love that shimmer copper. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. And this is an older one, so let's keep our fingers crossed that it's going to do what we want it to do. <laughs> Kona Kona. Our new little puppy. She's a uh, Getting used to everything around here. We've had her since uh, Thursday last week. So she um, is getting used to all the other dogs and she's running around here like she owns the place. So she's uh, doing really, really well with blending with our pack here. So for those of you who know that I raised Boston Terriers, all my other little puppies, my little litter, they all left on Friday. 
so it's been pretty quiet here not having the other five babies here but and Kona is so quiet she's such a good little puppy we've just been really really enjoying her and she's been getting used to her little bed and she in fact when I was on my live earlier today she was running around here and she uh <laughs> my son just got home so now all the dogs are all excited um so <laughs> So anyway, she fell asleep and she just went, went into her little bed and she just fell right to sleep. So I just think that's great. So she's going to have to teach the other ones how to do that because they don't like going to bed when it's time to go to bed. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So, yeah, so anyway, we're just finishing this up here. Just put a little bit more here. Hello, honey. Hello. So. Sometimes with the green of the wood, it's just kind of hard to get everything the way you want it. But I think that turned out really good, just like that. Oh, my nose itches, sorry. With all the smoke and allergies around here, whew, it's a matter I'm not sneezing more than I do. So what do you think? I think that turned out super pretty. Love it, love it, love it. And again, I love everything, so well, not everything, almost everything. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really liking these, uh, these new little uh, rectangular boards that we have. I think they're um, really, really nice. And what's also nice is, um, I brought these out too, um, these are the little stands that we can use now, so we can stand them up if you wanted to. Oh yeah, you guys can see that shimmer pumpkin on, or the shimmer pepper on there really well. So yeah, I'll open this up and I'll show you how these work. Kind of like the, the basin board that um, I've shown you how, uh, how we do that one. That one has the wood too that you can do both sides of your projects. Um, and it can stand up instead of laying them down or having to poke holes in them and hanging them. You can um, put them in these cute little stands. So let me open this up here. One of these out. I wonder if that'll cover it up because I went down. Nope, that's perfect. So there, yep. You guys can see how that turned out. Super cute. I love it. And then when you um, are ready and you want to, you can turn around and have um, you know something over on the other side. So yeah. So anyway, that's it what I was going to show you tonight. Sorry again that I started late and had to stop, but um, that's how we have to roll sometimes, so I do apologize for that. And um, get some of this ink on here, and um, I'll take some cute pictures. I, I'm going to have to decide if I want to hook all of these together or not. Um, I'll bring them over here in just a second so you guys can see that, see them all together. Get all this 
on here. So just, yeah, just taking that little pad and just kind of rubbing it on the sides a little bit. You can, you know, do all kinds of different things with it. Um, I was trying to get a little bit more on the top, kind of like that. So let's see if I can kind of hang this off to the side and just do a little bit on the, the top here. Not too much, because it'll it's kind of a different color than that copper, but I kind of want it to match with the other one, especially if I hook them all together. Um, kind of want to have the same borders going. Make sure I don't have my fingers in the ink or in the paste and transfer it. But yeah, I think that's gonna look really, really pretty once it all dries. Kind of blend it all in. Put one more down here on the bottom. Give it that little rustic look. See, I'm getting a little crazy with it now. My hand doesn't go straight, I guess. So pretty cool. All right, so I'll take pictures of these and so that way you guys can see them all done, okay? Well, you guys have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.